Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we made it back to the present and we went through Hecran's cave and then we made it back to our hometown. So let's go visit our mother. Oh, she was so worried about us. She's so happy that we're back. Oh, that's right. That was the last that she heard was the trial. Oh, no. Oh, poor woman. Yeah, I feel bad for mom, but if you leave and then go back inside, she's now up and she's done worrying. She's, I don't know, cooking. So Lucas says hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I imagine so. Oh, we already did. Let's introduce her to, um... Oh, I guess we don't get to introduce her to Marl, so I think that we have to go back in and out each time we want to introduce her to somebody else. Oh, does Marl not get a chance to say hi? Let's see what happens if we put Robo in. Robo says hi! Even though Luca isn't in the party. Yeah. Oh. I wonder if... I, I, okay, I think what happened is is that I already said hi with Marl. I probably left the fair. I don't remember what I did in the first episode, but I probably left the fair and then went back and introduced Marl then. But remember in the um, remember in the jail that Fritz was under the guillotine, he was about to get executed. Now, if you go and you see him here, he you know thanks you without a trial. Man, at least we got a trial. No kidding. Oh, you didn't even tell your father? Ooh, make it bribed with ten mid ethers. Great. Something tells me Daddy Dearest just overheard what happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dad. Dad knows everything. Okay. But he doesn't really sell much of anything. He sells the same stuff that you could have got back in the previous village. So if you need anything here, go ahead and buy it. I don't, so I'm fine. But every time that you come back in here, he'll be like, Hey, Chrono, thanks so much! So that's kind of nice. Um, we're supposed to go to the Millennial Fair at this point, but there is something else that we can do, so I figured I'd go ahead and show it off. Why not? Whoa! Yeah, don't aggro these guys. Be very, very careful going on through here. Let's see what happens if we go to the castle. Yeah, hey there. Oh, yikes. She's talking about her dad. And she doesn't want to see them and the soldiers like chase you. But what happens if we don't have Marl in the party? We'll just bring in Luca. Oh, yikes, now we're terrorists. No kidding. Get the hell out of here. So yeah, you can't go inside the castle until much, much later on in the game. So what I'm going to do is head on back to the forest, and I'm going to meet you at the Millennial Fair. I've made my way back, and if you notice, none of the merchants are here anymore. They've all gone back home, and of course Melchior isn't here either, and that little rat bastard bitchola who uh, said that we tried to uh, sell the pendant, and who also saw us trying to steal away Marl, yeah, she's gone too, otherwise I'd smack her into next week. Ugh. Anyway, use the gate, and now this should take us back to 600 um, AD, as it last time. But no, it takes us to the end of time. At this point, any time that you use any gate whatsoever, it will take you back to the end of time, and then you can um, go to wherever it is that you want to go. So we've already been to Lean Square, we've been to these three places, so this is the only new place that we can go to, Truce Canyon, 600 AD. Okie dokie, so we just gotta go on down here. Oh! Yeah. Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! Yeah, we've already seen these guys before, I think, but hopefully, I wonder if I could just get them with a. Yeah! Hopefully, we should just be able to cyclone them to death and call it a day. Best way to do it. Okay, and with that, I should be able to avoid any other monsters in here and move right along with my life. Perfect. So it's been quite a bit of time since we've been back here, so let's go and talk to people. Hey there. Oh god, Magus' army is at the bridge. 
Man, they weren't at the bridge last time. Ooh, the chosen hero has appeared. Great. We shouldn't have to do anything now. That's wonderful. Uh-oh. What do you have here? Yeah, nothing new. Okay, so don't worry about anything here. Hey there. Wow. I wonder who the legendary hero is? Who got this hero medal? Oh god, and the king is wounded too. Oh, but the hero will save us all. Man, things seem kind of screwy here in the past. At least they're not talking about the... The princess being captured or anything, or the queen, or whoever the hell she was. Oh, yeah, that's Lean's bell. Oh, I certainly hope so. Man. So a couple things going on here. We have a, um, the king is wounded. We can go inside the cathedral, but there's nothing here. Even if you go inside, like, this back door, there are no monsters. Nothing whatsoever is back here, so don't worry about it. If you missed any treasures, now would be a good time to go back there, though. But yeah, the king is wounded. Magus's army has hit the bridge. Last time we came through here, this bridge was out. Um, I, I guess they've repaired the bridge, only for Magus's army to now advance. And now they have no food. The rations have run out. Oh, God. Yeah, but we have the hero on our side. Okay. Yeah. I guess so. I wonder who the hero is. And it looks like you can go through this way, but you can't. You're just kind of blocked right there, so don't worry about it. So let's go over back to the castle now and... Check on the king, check on these rations, check on all of this. It looks like the past is in a, um, in a state. And go over here, and we get yet another shelter. Again, you can do that as many times as you want to. Get a ton of shelters there if you need it. I just figure every time that I pass through, I'll grab a shelter. Why the hell not? Uh-oh. Yeah, it's just us. And they're like, okay, you guys can go through. They're much nicer to us in the past than they are in the uh, present. Yeah, so where is he? Oh, so he's here to meet the king? Oh. Oh. I have to wonder how the king got injured. They never really say how he got injured. I can't imagine that the king is on the front lines, but maybe he went out to, like, christen the bridge whenever it was... Oh. Oh, he was fighting against Magus. Why was the king fighting against the troops? Oh. Huh. So is the hero in here? I don't see the hero. Maybe Cyrus sent the hero here. Huh. Oh. Okay. So it looks like the hero was here. And he saw the king, and then the king got injured in fighting. And then the hero, who has the hero medal, went to the southern continent to find a sword that can defeat Magus. So there's a lot going on here. Um, a lot that you actually have to keep in mind. Yeah, we, uh, we met the knight captain. But we can go on down here, and those hot knights from before have multiplied. And they all say the exact same thing. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Yeah, too bad you guys don't have beds. Oh, wow. Hmm. So, what you have to do here, it's kind of convoluted. And I remember as a kid just being like, what in the world do I do? And just talking to anyone and everyone until I made it on through here. The chef's in a snit? What is a snit? I don't know what that means, but oh well. Oh, yeah. I would imagine so, but what you have to do is talk to the chef, and if you recall, the first time that we came back here, uh, the chef was kind of mad at the night captain. They didn't really say why or what the deal was, but apparently there's some sort of sibling rivalry going on between those two, and... Um, I imagine that that is why the, um, 
why they were in some sort of tift or whatever, and the chef is trying to feed the army and all this, but there's a food shortage. But now the chef finally comes to his senses and is like, hey, you know, here you go. And then you get one freaking piece of beef jerky to feed the entire army. That's wonderful. Thanks, chef. Uh-oh. And away he goes, but at least we got a power tab out of it, so that's nice. And of course I hit the wrong button for menu. That's just lovely. I seem to do that all the time. But anyway, let's go ahead and use this power tab on Chrono. And I'm gonna go on through the forest to meet you at the bridge. I've made it back. It looks like their little wall has uh, gone down. Oh, but they won't let us through. Although, if we talk to the night captain, yeah, we have the uh, jerky for you. Oh, maybe he loves you after all. He's your brother. I mean, come on. Oh, whoa. What the hell? What's going on now? Oh, God. Oh, no. The Knights of the Square Table. <laughs> okay. You have to wonder, like, how did... Yeah, how did the hero make it across the bridge, even though he was just talking with the king, and then, I guess, to search for that sword or something like it just i don't know oh uh no i will not yeah okay but let's actually see what happens if we say yes we will assist them okay hey and we get a golden helmet for actually assisting him it would be cool if he like took off his helmet but he doesn't okay so I guess we can go ahead and put the... Ah, why do I always hit the wrong button? Go ahead and put the uh, golden helmet on. Why not? Whoa. Yeah, four extra defensive points. Very nice. Whoa. God, these soldiers suck. Oh, and who are you? It's Ozzy. Remember in Medina Village, the elder was Ozzy the Eighth, and then he was like, hey, you know, my ancestor served, um... Served Magus? Well, here we have Ozzy himself. And we have these deceased here, but the, here's the thing. You don't actually have to fight the deceased. All you have to do is hit Ozzy three times, and, uh, well, you'll see what happens. Yeah, his spell has been broken, the deceased die, they get deceased, and we finish the battle. We're not wimps. We'll get you yet, my pretty. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, whenever it comes to uh, fleeing the scene, Ozzy sure knows how to run. At least we get some really nice backgrounds here. I like it. I approve. So again, just go straight after Ozzy here. You can fight the deceased, and then if you do fight the deceased, then Ozzy will be like, Oh my god, you know, I didn't expect this, and he'll just run away. So, yeah, just... The, but, but honestly, the quickest thing to do is just hit Ozzy three times. It's easy enough. And you still got the experience gold and tech points for it, too. Drat! Now I want to switch my party up. Um, actually, let's take out Luca and bring in Robo. And for setup, Chrono has the speed belt. Robo has the berserker that is intentional. And Mara, I want her to have the magic scarf. She's going to be casting um, a bunch of spells here, so, yeah. Wait, I'm finished? You're finished. Well, what are you gonna do? Whoa! Uh-oh. Yikes! <laughs> Man, this thing freaked me out as a kid. Holy crap. Also, as a kid, this guy was hard! So here's the deal with this battle. You want to have Chrono use Cyclone, and that hits both parts for just, you know, physical base damage. Um, and the top part always gets hit more. It has, you know, less um, defense than the bottom part. And then here's the deal. The top half 
It is weak to Shadow, which would be Laser Spin, or Ice-based damage. It has 960 HP, and we want to kill the top first. The bottom is weak to Fire or Lightning-based damage, and it only has 800 HP. So if you hit, if you kill the top first, then the um, then what will happen is he'll use like an MP Buster attack, and one person will lose all their MP. Who really cares? If you kill the bottom half, you're going to get an AoE damage attack on your entire party for like 100 damage, and it's really bad. So you don't want that. Whoa. Yikes. Ew, that's still pretty rough. But I'm going to show off something. Let's really kill off this top half. Let's wait for it. And we got our Ice Sword ability. Uh, this is a dual tech between Chrono and Marl. And you get this whenever you get, what is it, Spin Cut, I think, from Chrono? And the Ice Spell from Marl. It deals roughly 500 damage, and it just annihilates that top half right there. Used MP Buster on the bottom half, or on Marl, that's fine. Boom, Robo does the final hit on the bottom half. And, yeah, we learned Robo Tackle, and we learned the Dual Tech Ice Tackle as well. With Luca, you'll also learn Fire Tackle too, and Ozzy has Run for the Hills, but here we are on the Southern Continent. Let's go on back to Xenon Bridge here and uh, talk to the soldiers. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, all the soldiers just did the same thing. But here's what I find odd. So Magus's army was on this side of the bridge, supposedly, yet here we have a town of humans. We have, what is this? Someone's just villa and we have yet another town of humans. You would think that Magus's army would have destroyed these places, but no, they're still standing, and we're going to go exploring them next time. Well, let's play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.